iOS 14 or One UI 3, which one is faster? You're gonna find out by the end of this video. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here, helping you to master your technology. Now I'm using the 11 Pro because I think it's more fair to compare when we're doing this iOS versus the One UI. Three, let's go, three, two, one, and see which one can boot up faster. Now keep in mind that this is the Samsung Galaxy S20. I'm gonna do the S21 versus the 12 Pro series, but I thought it would be unfair to use latest iPhone 12 versus older S20. So I chose the 11 Pro, which is more in the same, you know, comparison here. So we'll see which one does turn on faster. And Apple says, it's my turn today, Nick. I'm gonna turn on faster and beat Samsung One UI 3 on the boot up. Okay guys, so confirming their software, iOS 14.3 on the left over here on the right, we're talking about One UI 3. That is based on Android 11. Let me tell you guys, it's going to be great on the S21. They really cleaned up shop with this software and with new Snapdragon 888, it's gonna be fantastic. Okay, so let's begin here on the lock screen. Which one can swipe into their cameras first? And you could see that looks like iOS from the lock screen. We'll do this again and slightly faster to get into that camera on the lock screen for iOS 14. So when you are opening from the lock screen, you might get that moment just a hair quicker for the iPhone experience. Okay guys, so because iOS has face unlock and it uses infrared sensors, it takes a second and you do have to swipe up to unlock. Now with the Samsung, for the Samsung device, if I just look at it, it does kind of unlock very quickly here in One UI 3. So you really don't, have any speed concerns here. And also I think it's more convenient during our current times to use this in-display fingerprint sensor. Now checking out the speed in which they operate through the home screens, I find that the Samsung just feels a little smoother because of the 120 Hertz display, but in terms of overall speed, it's about the same. iOS does very good for a 60 Hertz display. So speed of control center versus quick panel. Now because with iOS you have to reach to the top, you can swipe anywhere with One UI 3 to pull down that notification tray. So I already have it pulled down before you can even reach up there on the Samsung. So definitely a little bit quicker on the Samsung because you don't have to reach up to take that slight little action. I know it's lazy, but <laughs> slight little action and then you have to pull down. But anywhere here on the Samsung, you can pull down. Another thing I noticed that's faster on the Samsung device in terms of speed is that if you go to lock this iPhone right here, you could actually just double tap this one it's quicker than the unlock button or just hit the power button on the Samsung device. And I tried this with uh, someone else yesterday. We just, I had them hold the phone and try to do it at the same time. And every time I was faster to close the Samsung phone over the iPhone over here. Okay guys, so let's see which one can actually auto rotate these screens faster. And you could see very similar on both. And if you look at the animations, they're also pretty similar as well. Okay guys, so let's do a speed test with some applications. Everything is closed out for the Samsung. Everything closed out for the iPhone. We'll go to Instagram. You could see that is faster for the Samsung to load that up. We'll go to Twitter here. You could see once again, faster for the Samsung. Look at the swipe gesture, super similar. We'll go to Amazon here on both. You could see Samsung again there on the right. Their animation speed actually got a little bit better here with One UI 3 and just having the apps overall look better. Samsung again there on eBay, we'll come home, we'll go into weather, and you can see Apple wins out there, we'll go into calculators. You can see very close uh, Groupon here, you can see Apple wins that one out, we'll go into categories, Samsung there. Not to say that the iPhone is slow or anything, but Samsung is really seeing improvements here in their One UI 3 in terms of overall system performance. I'm actually very happy with what I'm seeing here. You can see that Google Play did load up first over App Store as well. I just had to close out that notification. We'll see right here ESPN, and we'll go ahead and only while using this app. We'll do that ESPN again because that one was asking for location. Let's do ESPN again, and you can see I think the iPhone still won that one out. We'll go to scores. iPhone won that one out as well. Now we'll go into games where iPhone typically wins and I wouldn't be surprised if it wins again, but you do have to give Samsung credit here on One UI 3. They're really cleaning up the overall look of the animation as well as how it actually performs system performance wise. And looks like iPhone is ahead 
of the Samsung. Yeah, the iPhone beats it out again here on the game. So that could be just down to the raw performance of the iPhone using that A13 Bionic chipset, which is still a beast regardless of the fact that that A14 did come out. And you could see even when we swiped out, there was no glitching or hanging there like it used to do. We'll go over here to Temple Run and you could see Samsung seemed to have had that one first. We'll hit play and you'll see very similar. So, I mean, it is neck and neck. It's really down to the features you want on a phone because you've seen Samsung was winning most of those, you know, single, these regular apps right here. But then when the games came, the iPhone did win. Okay guys, so let's go into Temple Run and you can see both held that just fine. We'll go into Mortal Kombat. You can see they held that just fine. Now, when we come out, notice on the Samsung, it doesn't hold or glitch or hang like it used to. It would just hang and auto rotate and then kind of ro rotate back. And now it's super smooth when you come out. This is an area Samsung has really improved their you know system performance. We'll go into ESPN. You can see they both held that just fine. We'll go into App Store, Play Store. And again, just look at the animation. Look how similar they look when coming home. I mean, really, you have to be a fan of Sam or Apple or Samsung to really just choose one or the other because they're so similar, meaning that if you're a fan of Samsung, you'll choose Samsung. If you're a fan of Apple, you'll choose Apple because you're basically getting identical performance here with different features on both different ecosystems. So. I think Apple has been doing this for a long time, but I think the One UI is the more impressive one showing the more improvements to the performance because iOS has been performing this great for a long time, but both exceptional. Okay guys, so let's see which one is faster to open these cameras. Three, two, one. And you can see, it looked like the iPhone. We'll go ahead and close those out and we'll do this again. Three, two, one. Yep, looks like the iPhone is a little bit faster to open the camera on iOS 14 versus One UI. However, you should keep in mind, Samsung has a double tap the power button to quick launch that camera. And in that case, it could be faster than any method of opening an iPhone camera. You could have this in your pocket, double tap it, pull it out your pocket, you're already ready to shoot a photo. So you have to keep that in mind as well. All right, guys, so we're gonna go to apple.com here in the web browsers, and you can see that Apple loads first on, well, the Apple device. When it comes to scrolling, very similar. We pinch the zoom again very similar although i would say the scroll is still faster on one ui a little bit smoother here you can say are just slower to scroll through the page on ios okay samsung.com samsung you better get your website faster you better not play with me on this one boy let's go and see what happens yes Ooh. yes I, it looked like samsung had it so samsung said shut up nick I got you, son. So definitely it looked like Samsung was a little faster there, but both of them, you're gonna get the same basic experience here. I mean, really, if you get an iPhone, you think you're gonna flex on a Samsung user of an S21 or something, you better think again and vice versa. If you get a Samsung S21, S20, and you think you're gonna flex on an iPhone user, you better think again as well. You guys are going neck and neck here when it comes to overall performance in mostly every single area. So that's it. I was gonna do Geekbench, I was gonna do a couple other tests, but that's it. We've, we've made our point here. These phones, these softwares are neck and neck. iOS and the Samsung One UI, these things are neck and neck when it comes to everyday performance. And Samsung is really the one showing the performance system improvements to the One UI 3. Apple has been doing great system performance for a long time. It seems more like Samsung is the one catching up here, but Apple needs to catch up with that hardware in terms of the 120 Hertz display, which I think they're gonna be ordering from Samsung, by the way. So definitely looking forward to that. This was One UI 3 versus the iOS 14. Let me know which one you prefer, which one you like better. And if you're going with an S21 this year, are you gonna wait it out for the iPhone 13? Both are gonna be phenomenal smartphones. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really does help out. Make sure to do that and subscribe if you haven't already. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.